This is a seven minute full body warm up with easy to do movements. We have 12 different movements that we will go through, doing each for about 30 seconds. Let's go ahead and get started. First up are wide arm circles going one direction first. Do these arm circles with control and intention, feeling your arms and shoulders build up some heat. Go ahead and reverse the direction of those arm circles. Three more seconds here, and release this movement. Now we're going to do some standing twists by reaching the arms up and twisting to one side as one, drop, as one arm drops to the front and the other to the back. Then rotate the torso back to the center, bringing the arms back up, reaching to the sky. Now twist on the opposite side next time. Okay, now release, and now clasp your hands in front of you with arms extended forward. Roll the shoulders back and down, keeping the core tight to protect the low back. Reach the arms up overhead, and then drop the arms halfway down in front of you again, never releasing the clasp. You can do these really fast with control to really build up some heat in the shoulders, or you can do these more slowly to get in a nice stretch on the shoulders and upper back. Let's now switch to some hip openers. Keeping the knee bent, open the left leg to the side and strain it as you step it back. Reverse the move to bring the leg back in front. We'll stay on this one leg for this interval. Go ahead and switch legs now, hip openers with the other leg. Now onto some straight leg side raises with either leg. So choose one leg and stay on this one leg for these first 30 seconds. So with control, you'll just raise the leg to the side and back in. Go ahead and switch legs now. Now we're moving on to some deadlifts with arm swings. So as you hinge forward into that deadlift, you'll swing the arms back. And as you come back up, you'll swing the arms up. Keep going. Okay, now bend all the way forward with legs mostly straight. One at a time, bend one knee and then strain it. Bend the other knee and then strain it. Keep bending the knees one at a time in this forward bend. You should feel a good stretch at the back of the legs, particularly in those hamstrings and a little bit at the calves. Good job. Now let's come up to do some squats with a two second pause at the bottom before coming back up.
Last squat here. Now we're moving on to some alternating side planks with a two second pause. So come into a side plank on the left side, pause for two seconds at the high point before coming into the plank position at the center. Then do that side plank on the other side, also pause for two seconds there as well before coming back into that plank center and then switching sides. Keep going alternating sides and using that plank in the center as a quick transition. Left side plank, okay, now come into that plank form and drop the knees to do some bird dog tucks. So extend one leg out and the opposite arm. The leg and arm should be aligned with the back. From there, tuck both the arm and leg into knee at the center. Release and do the same with the other arm and leg. Keep alternating legs and arms. Okay, back on your hands and knees. Keeping the arms where they are, scoot your legs a bit back so that you can comfortably and correctly do some close kneeling push-ups. Gently lower your upper body down and then push back up using arm strength to push up. In three, two, one, release the push-ups. For these last 30 seconds, we're simply going to do some wrist and ankle circles. Do about three reps on each wrist and ankle and in each direction. I'm doing my wrist circles on both hands at the same time and then doing the ankle circles on both legs one at a time. Once you're done with these wrist and ankle circles, that is all for this warm-up and you should be ready for your workout. Have a great workout and I'll see you next time.